In July 2015, NASA's New Horizons probe successfully captured the first high-definition images of Pluto's surface. Before this, our understanding of Pluto was minimal. Discovered in 1930, this dwarf planet is smaller than Earth's moon and so distant, over 7.3 billion kilometers away, that sunlight takes 5.5 hours to reach it. Even Hubble's photos were just blurry smudges. New Horizons was launched in 2006. It used a Jupiter gravity assist to shorten its journey by three years, hibernating for much of the nine-year trip to conserve its instruments. On July 14, 2015, the probe flew within 12,500 kilometers of Pluto. The images sent back revealed a stunningly complex world with spectacular mountains, glaciers, and craters. Scientists also studied its largest moon, Charon. The two are tidally locked, always showing the same face to each other. Visually, Pluto is much darker than Charon, suggesting an older surface. Pluto's most famous feature is its large, heart-shaped region, an area comparable in size to Texas. This heart is a giant plain of ice, contrasting sharply with the surrounding terrain. The flyby confirmed Pluto's surface is 98% nitrogen ice at a frigid minus 229 degrees Celsius. At this temperature, the nitrogen ice flows like glaciers. The heart itself is a remarkably young plain, perhaps only 10 million years old, surrounded by vast mountains of water ice. Other regions are covered in a dark material, like the whale-shaped Cthulhu macula. These dark, crater-sparse areas are much older than the ice plain and are covered in methane ice and tar-like sediments. A shocking discovery was Pluto's thin atmosphere. Though its pressure is a million times lower than Earth's, it's possible liquid nitrogen could exist on the surface. In 2020, scientists suggested a high probability of a subsurface ocean of semi-molten water ice. This implies an internal heat source, slightly increasing the possibility of life. Finally, the mission carried a touching tribute, 28 grams of the ashes of Clyde Tombaugh, Pluto's discoverer. Launched on his 100th birthday, the man who never saw Pluto clearly has now traveled closest to it. In his honor, the heart-shaped ice plane was named Tomba Regiero.